Now let's uh, come back to Nairobi where Kenyatta National Hospital has opened its first telemedicine technology center, a first of its kind in Africa. Addressing the media on Sunday during the launch cabinet, Secretary Mtahi Kagwe said the center is to see patients served here in the country rather than them to seek medical treatment outside the country. The center will not only be used for treatment purposes but also as a training center for medical specialists. Instead of sending a radiologist to every county all over the country in the 37 uh, counties that, for example that we are communicating with CT scans from those counties can be interpreted here by just one or two radiologists so you can see the efficiency and the gains in terms of human capital that we can uh, achieve through the use of technology well, and as you know, this is actually the first government platform of its kind in uh, the country, which incorporates a medical teleconferencing facility and also an artificial intelligence teleradiology, the first in Africa, and also that will act as a hub for diagnosis and reporting of images through actually a server that and internet connectivity is the first in the country and in Africa as well. Meanwhile, the National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus is set to hold a crisis meeting in the next hour on the situation in Kenya. Stephen Leto is at Afia House with the latest on this. Little, what more do we have from that end? Well, Wycliffe, we are, since morning at 10 a.m., we've been following the Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe to see whether he can be giving us a brief on the COVID-19 cases in the country and the developments with regard to the seven cases that, has already, that have already been reported and tested positive. But uh, when he addressed that outside the Kenya National Host uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, he said for the first time that they will be handy, uh, heading quote unquote to a crisis meeting and that of course after that meeting is when they will be able to address us on the developments of the COVID-19 in the country. According to the minister he says that they are going to introduce more stringent measures to ensure that they arrest this uh, virus from spreading across the country and that is exactly the uh, brief that we are awaiting. It will be taking place at the office of the presidents at the footsteps of Arambe House, that is where the, the team will be addressing us, that will be comprising of all the ministers or all the cabinet secretaries that are sitting in that uh, committee that is chaired by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe. Remember, there are several stringent measures that has already been put out there, including having a 14 seater matatus carry only 8 passengers and 25 uh, seater uh, 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 buses but in Nairobi and even other parts of the country to carry only 15. Uh, apparently, the, that particular measure has not been received and hasn't been complied with. And it is some of the questions that the Health Cabinet Secretary and the entire committee will be seeking to answer and to give even more directives to the authorities. Remember, they have also directed that all the, uh, and, uh, the clubs and all the entertainment joints be closing at 7 p.m. And that from 7 p.m., no uh, entertainment joint is supposed to be open just to ensure that the movement of people is restricted and even during the day when they will be open the cabinet secretary says they have to adhere to high standards that the health ministry ministry has uh, set out the, uh, the the critical issues that is also emerging today is the number of churches that continue to operate and allowing the congregants to you know flock the churches without uh, you know paying keen attention to the health act that was inv uh, invoked by the minister those are the issues we are waiting and of course we will be also keen to see whether there will be a rise in the number of cases of COVID-19 from 7 uh, in increasing or we'll be seeing Kenya stagnating in the number or in 7 numbers of COVID-19 patients that are already in the country and of course the, the status of the 7 patients that have already tested positive are they improving are they worsening 
or how are they doing there are also those uh, weekly that have been put under um uh, 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 under isolation in the bagadi hospital isolation center just to see what is the status there were those that had been tested awaiting test results those are the results we we'll also be keen to see whether they turn negative or they really turn positive but the country is in race against time to uh, to contain the virus from spreading in various places in the country they are already setting up or sending up teams our uh, medical staff to all the 47 counties just to ensure that the screening is being conducted and ensure that the country gets to know whether they are these cases or the cases are not there of course a number of guidelines the ministry of health is issuing including the symptoms on whether they are going to you know get just to see the numbers that have been reported in the hospitals but the ministry insists that you are only supposed to go to hospital when uh, when uh, you are absolutely uh, uh, exhibit, exhibiting the COVID-19 symptoms. And of course, weekly we'll wait, of course, and see what that emergency response committee will be telling us in an hour or so. And of course, we'll be uh, broadcasting this to our viewers to just give them an update on the COVID-19 in the country. Weekly. Uh, maybe, uh, Leto, one question. We've seen the minister actually... Uh, uh, briefing us every day on the update on uh, on uh, the latest ab about the coronavirus. Now, what? Why is this particular meeting being termed as a crisis meeting? Uh, it is raising our antenna as the media because for the rest of the briefings that Mutai Kagwe, the Cabinet Secretary for Health, has been giving us, he has been using very soft words for that matter in trying to describe the situation. But today going to a crisis meetings is what is telling us that the country could be, uh, could be intending to go an extra mile in terms of containing the virus in the country and ensuring just that the virus does not spread to other Kenyans apart from the seven positive cases that have already been reported and isolated at the Mbagadi Center. And so we are, of course, awaiting to see what that emergency meeting will be deliberating and what are some of the measures that they will be uh, bringing. Remember, last week, uh, the, the, the chair for that emergency committee said that the, 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 the having the country go into a partial or total lockdown was still, some, was still something on the table and that they will be considering from time to time the regarding on how the cases will be reported in the country just to see and ensure that the country is not exposed to more cases on coronavirus. Remember, it has already uh, been reported in all its neighboring countries, for instance, Uganda and Tanzania, that has even has, uh, had the country lock down the, or close all the borders uh, coming into the country at the border points of Namanga and even at Busia. And the, the, the very crisis meeting that we are going to see in the next hour or so is is one of the measures that the government intends to, you know, uh, uh, invoke just to ensure to keep the country safe from more cases on coronavirus. But another nightmare is the flights that continue coming in and out of the country, the air traffic that the country continues to witness with regard to flights coming in and out, with the minister saying that the, all the cases that have been reported at the, uh, at the, uh, at the, Mbagadi, at the Mbagadi Hospital are, are imported cases, which means there are cases that are coming out of the country and landing inside the country and proving to be positive at the point of entry. So those are some of the issues we want to get from the minister and get to see what exactly will be this crisis meeting all about and their resolutions to ensure that they sustain or they contain the COVID-19 in the country. We cliff. Well, thank you very much, Stephen Leto, there at uh, Afia House, where the National Emergency Response Committee is expected to address us uh, after the crisis meeting uh, later on today.